We have quite an extreme range of temperatures here in this area of South Dakota since I've uh, lived here in 1972. We've had low temperatures of around 36 uh, below zero and high temperatures as high as 113 degrees Fahrenheit above. I do not uh, monitor the soil moisture with instruments, but I do keep track of our rainfall. And, and uh, uh, for example, for all of June, all of July, and thus far in August, we've only had about three and a half inches of moisture in this area this year. So we're really at a real moisture deficit, uh, approximately nine weeks with uh, three and a half inches of moisture. Uh, the weather people will tell us that we get a little bit more extreme events, a little bit heavier rainfall. I think my no-till helps to manage that. It keeps it from running off. It conserves that moisture when we do get it for those time periods when we have less. Uh, the big benefit from no-till that we see is from water infiltration. Or last week I checked it and I was able to get 3.3 inches of water to soak into my corn ground in one minute and 45 seconds. So uh, when we talk about extremes in uh, climate and changes in climate where we might have more extreme conditions, I feel that I'm set up to, to have that moisture go in and be conserved rather than to run off. Uh, the climate is always changing. We all have weather extremes. But you know, we've only been farming this ground for about 125 years. And so when we look at 200-year or 500-year rainfalls, we probably haven't experienced those things. So in my time here, I've seen five inches of rain in one day. And I've seen time periods when we didn't get five inches all summer. We have to manage around both of those. And we're, I think we're going to continue to experience that.